Hello. <laughs> Today we're going to follow an all levels class. And it's good that you have maybe some blocks, water. Um, some poses might be more challenging depending on the exact level that you are. But I'm going to try to give you modifications and a step. Always make sure that you are, you know, taking care of yourself. So for starting, we're going to child's pose. Bring your big toes together, open your knees to the sides, sit with your hips back, and then straighten your arms forward. Lower your head and breathe. Feel how the gravity brings your body more to the ground. Lengthen your spine, your arms. Reach through your hips and through your hands. Keep breathing. Let us start this class with awareness. Leave everything else outside of this class. This is a moment for you and your practice. Take one more inhalation and exhale gently through your mouth. On the next inhale, look forward. And exhale, lift your hips. Come on all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale, look forward, drop your belly. Sitting bones are pointing up to the sky. Your chest wants to look forward. Shoulder blades want to meet. And exhale, come into cat pose, rounding your back. Shoulder blades as much as possible. Pushing the ground away with your hands, your knees and your feet. And look inside. Last inhale and exhale. Bring your spine to a neutral position. Next, we're gonna do some stretching for your wrists. We're gonna do some hard beginning with some planks and back bends. So make sure that your wrists are warm. So we can do, come here again on all fours and then you rock your body back and forth. And make sure that your body weight is pressing onto your wrist. Maybe you go in circles, do the size of your wrist. Other side. And then you want to put the top of your hands on the ground. And then from here, pull your hips back. Stretching the front of your wrists. And lastly, hands together. Make fists with your hands and then make circles around your wrist. One direction, the other direction. It's up somewhat fast beginning. Now we're gonna get serious. <laughs> Come to on a squat. So I'm gonna face this way. So I make sure that my feet are pointing outward and you might be able to reach the floor or you might not. 
you can be somewhere here and that's also fine. What we want here is a gentle stretch for the inner thighs, your hips. Then you bring your triceps against your inner knees. Bring your palms together in front of your heart and lengthen your spine. Reach with the crown of your head to the sky while your hips want to go to the ground. Last inhale and exhale. And then we come, press your hands to the ground, push your hips up, hands to your hips, elbows up, shoulder blades press against each other, bend your knees from your hips, lift your body. Come on, standing position. We now move to the front, <laughs> the beautiful bird. <laughs> we now move to the front of the mat. You bring your inner thighs towards each other, belly button in. Inhale, reach your arms up. Belly button comes in, your lower back rounds a bit. That allows you for your upper body to move upward and maybe do a back bend. Inhale here. Exhale, come into chest pose. Sit your hips back. Keep pressing your inner thighs towards each other. Your feet strong in the, in the ground. Belly button in. And hold your imaginary beach ball with your hands. Very well, exhale, come forward fold. You can keep here your knees bent. What's important here is to stretch your hamstrings and your hips, your glutes. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, chest forward. Maybe press your hands against your chins or fingertips on the ground. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands on the ground, bend your knees, step or jump. For the beginners, I'm going to step back into plank. What's important here is that our hands wrists are under the shoulders, maybe the shoulders even slightly forward. In this way, we use more our arms. Turn your abdomen, bring your heels on top of your toes. Inhale here. Exhale, lean forward as much as you can, and then start to bend your elbows. Activate those triceps. Go slow. And then come into Cobra. Hands down next to your chest. Inner thighs towards each other. Your knees lift off the floor. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Back bend. Exhale, come down, press your toes on the ground. We're gonna go to downward facing dog. So press your knees as well down, engage your abdomen, inhale, lift your chest up, exhale, hips back and up towards downward facing dog. Maybe you here walk your dog one leg at a time or you stay completely in a down dog, lengthening through your arms, through your feet, and inhale and exhale. Find your own rhythm and trying to breathe as much as you can through your nose. Now here is where the interesting part starts. We're gonna bend the right knee, point your foot, lift the knee, Open the hip. Then exhale, I'm gonna bring my knee towards my right elbow. High plank. Inhale, exhale, go back up. Now I'm gonna move into wild thing. So I bend my left knee, bring my right foot back outside of the mat, 
And now I'm in this weird shape. From here, I'm gonna move my left foot in a diagonal, straighten my leg. I can keep my right leg bent or I can straighten it, come into wild thing. Back bend, your shoulder move towards your wrist, shoulder blade stabilization, reach your arm back or up. Wild thing. If this is the first time you do this pose, you might stay here, it's a bit safer. Keep your right knee bent, but still try to bring your left shoulder on top of your left wrist. Last inhale and exhale. Left foot comes to the side of the mat. We turn our chest, lift the right knee up again. Open the hip. Exhale. Now we're going to bring the right knee towards your left elbow. High plank. From here, straighten your left foot out. Then your left foot, sorry, that was the right foot, straighten it out. And now the left foot moves. So my left heel is on the ground and it's parallel to the short side of the mat. Now I'm also here on a side plank. I'm only using one arm. My shoulder blade helps here with the stabilization. Then I open, straighten both legs, side plank modified. Last inhale, exhale, reach forward. Now here, you can stay here or you can come with me to the next level. So you look forward, you lean with your body, front of the body, forward, put the body weight into your right leg and then lift your left leg. And back, Woo. Left hand on the mat, bring your left foot to the side of the mat, bend the right knee, right knee up. Exhale, knee to the nose. And a step in between your hands. Okay, that was something. Definitely already made me sweat. Then from here we have high lunge. So first thing is my foundation. Press your feet down and imagine that both legs want to meet right in the middle. So my right leg push back, my left leg wants to go forward. That gives me a strong foundation at my hips so I can lift my upper body, hands up, belly button goes in, lower back is rounded. And breathe. Another inhale. And exhale, bend your left knee, slowly reach your left knee to the ground. Nice. Both arms go back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale. Exhale, twist to your right. First we twist. And you twist with your trunk, your middle spine to the side. <laughs> Another inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee. From here, we keep twisting. So inhale, lengthen first. Exhale, twist. It's like if my left side of the rib cage wants to go to the sky. <laughs> Look, whatever it feels comfortable. Just keep breathing. We are expanding here our uh, rib cage, diaphragm, all of it. Last inhale, exhale. You can stay here or you can lift your left knee off the floor. So a combination of high lunge again. And then you look to your right foot and we're gonna step into a chair pose. So you look at it, you lean forward, give a step. Now we are in a 
chair but modified because now we're twisting to the right. So you keep your hips as parallel as possible to the floor and then you keep twisting with your spine. Remember, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist. Last inhale, exhale, come into normal chair pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. So that was part one, one side of the body. We're going to the next one. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna press the hands into the mat. We're gonna step or jump. I'm gonna jump this time to show what other options are. And now we are in plank. Press the ground away from you. Keep a beautiful line between your, forming from the heels to your head. Shoulder blades are rounded. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Chaturanga Dandasana. From here, you can go into Cobra or go into Upward Dog. Press the top of your feet down. Inhale, lift the chest. Inner thighs towards each other. Knees off the floor. And then come into a deeper back bend. Your chest is forward, nicely open. Maybe you tilt your head a bit back. Last inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Chaturanga Dandasana, high plank, downward facing dog. If this proves a bit challenging for you, then go back to the previous way, which is also very nice. I just found a very curious little animal. <laughs> And I'm afraid I might hurt him. So I'm gonna kick it away. Uh, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> now we're facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Now let, raise your left knee, point your foot, open the hip. This is also called the three-legged dog or scorpion. Inhale, exhale, left knee to your left elbow, high plank. Inhale, go back up. Now we're gonna go into wild thing. I have some stuff on the way, so be careful if you do as well. You're gonna bend the right knee, lifting the right heel, and then your left foot is outside of your mat. We twist, opening the chest with the left hand. Then you can stay here, but bringing your shoulder blade on top of your hand, or you can straighten the right leg out. Wild thing, bring your arm back. You may be able to straighten both legs or stay with your left leg bent. Last inhale and exhale, right knee, bends, step back with your right foot, twist, facing again the mat, facing again the mat, left hand on the mat, right knee comes back up, pointing your foot, open the hip again, exhale, left knee to your right elbow, twist from your trunk, and then step left foot outside of your mat, right foot twisted, turns so that your foot is now parallel to the short side of the mat, and now straighten the legs, beautiful modified side plank. Last inhale, and exhale. Right hand to the mat, bend the knee, 
step back, left knee lifts again. And now left knee to your nose and step in between your hands. Now again, foundation, both feet pressing the floor. Both legs want to meet in the middle line. So you feel like a sound <laughs> in your body. <laughs> then we raise our trunk, upper body, hands up. Belly button comes in. Separate your ears from your arms or your arms from your ears, more like it. And breathe. Last inhale. Exhale, bend the left, the right knee more. And the right knee wants to go to the ground. So very slow lunge. Arms up. Inhale, exhale. Palms together in front of your heart. Then inhale again here. Belly button comes in, lower back is rounded. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. And don't forget to breathe, and if possible, through your nose. Last inhale. And exhale. Stay here, or we're going to lift the right knee, pressing the foot, right foot down, lift the right knee, look to your left foot, lean forward, step into chair pose. If you are here and you want to go into chair pose, you can also come out of the pose and simply step into chair, go into your twist. Both ways are perfectly fine. So inner thighs towards his shoulder, belly button comes in, engage your abdomen, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist, chair pose, twist the chair pose. Last inhale, and exhale, come into normal chair pose. Sit maybe a bit lower. And exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, raise the chest. Lift the chest. Maybe bring your hands again in front of your chins. And exhale, forward fold. Hands to your hips. Shoulder blades are pressed against each other. Inhale, bend your knees and from your hips lift up. Exhale. Here, maybe try to close your eyes. Try to explore what it feels like to keep the balance while well, your eyes are closed. Maybe you feel very stable, maybe you already fell. Just whatever it happens, look at it in a funny, playful way. Open your eyes. The next two poses are standing poses, balance. And they are challenging because we need to go from a closed hip pose to an open hip. So I'm gonna try to do this as understandably as possible. So you come to the middle of the mat or maybe a little bit more forward. Then, hands in front of your heart or you can have your hands at your hips, whatever you like. Then press onto your left leg, raise your right knee up, point your foot. Try to look at a point where you can keep your balance and if you fall, doesn't matter. Your brain loves to fall and to lose the balance. So we are here. And then exhale, kick back. We're going into warrior three. Oh, see, this is my bad foot. <laughs> my ankle doesn't always help me here. So you kick back, 
chest comes forward. Then make sure that your hips are aligned. So you kind of feel if they're more open or they are more in the same line. And then try to keep the balance here. So this is what we call square hips. Your hips are closed. They are coming towards each other. Inhale, exhale, grab your block, put it diagonal in front of your left foot. Then from here, use your left hand, open your right hip, keep your foot pointed, hand onto your hip. Inhale, exhale, maybe bring your right, right hand up. And the last step is to step back into a sort of warrior one. Woo. Maybe bring your hands up and then step forward. Beautiful. Now let's do the other side. <laughs> so press onto your right foot, hands to your hips this time if you want. Then raise your left le knee, point your foot now this is my better leg, so let's see how it goes. So I want to kick back while bringing my chest forward. Then I straighten my leg, or I may keep it here if this helps with the balance. You can also keep your right knee more bent. This is what we call a micro bending. This gives you a lot more stability. Then lengthen, straighten your legs if you want. Touch your glutes and make sure that they are more or less on the same line. So that sort of feels like your chest is also lowering more and it feels like it's twisting a little bit. That's correct. <laughs> Maybe for the challenge you want to bring your arms forward. Last inhale. Exhale, grab your block. Put it in the diagonal in front of your right foot. For me now this is outside of the mat. Bring your left hand to your hip. Inhale, press onto your hand and arm into the block. Use it to open your left uh, hip to the side. Now my glutes are squeezed, my legs are straight, but my inner thighs want to come towards each other. Then the last step will be to join with the hand up. If you want to make it more challenging, you can look up or look down for more balance, more grounding. Last inhale. Exhale. I'm going to step back with my left foot. Bend the right knee for that. Woo. Keep the balance. Beautiful warrior one. It's sort of warrior one. Last inhale. And exhale. Come forward. So we've done that. Now I invite you to go with your hips to the mat. So I'm going to sit, maybe do a squat on the way to the sitting. <laughs> sit your hips back. Now we want to make sure to protect our lower back. So we use our hands to peel your inner thighs to the outside and also the glutes. Other side glutes. Now my glutes are cushioning my lower back and I'm really sitting on my sitting bones. Now you lean back, point your feet. Now start to strengthen in these muscles, the hip flexors. And in this case you want to meet your lower abdomen, your chest, your thighs and your hip flexors want to be as close as possible together. So you do just that. Try not to run on your lower back. If you feel like you immediately crunch there, then you stay here. You don't have to go full pose. So, <laughs> now lean back, raise your feet off the floor, keep pointing, and you imagine that you have a block or something else that really want to press, really want to press your legs against each other. Then arms forward or stay here if this helps more with stabilization. 
I'm working on my hip flexors. And you see how Ray was rounding my back? I want to go forward again. Then maybe here you strengthen your legs or not. I'm already trembling a lot in this pose. The next step is low boat. So lower your legs first, keeping your low abdomen engaged. Then lower your chest more. You feel all this trembliness, You're doing a good job. Hands forward, low boat. Feet are pointing, your inner thighs want to meet. To make it more challenging, you can, hand, can hold again that beach ball or you can lean your arms back. And exhale, crash on the mat. Now let's hug our knees so your lower back can have a nice massage. You can hug your knees from your hamstrings or from your shins. And then finally feel the release on your lower back. You work hard for it. Ah, you can breathe through your mouth. We're going to go to a very nice twist. So from here you can have your arms into a T or a cactus, I call these ar cactus arms. Then inhale, exhale, lean or bring your knees to the left side and then drop them. Whatever they want to do in whichever they want to fall. What's important here is that both of your shoulder blades are still on the mat. And then the last step will be to look to the right side. Last inhale. And exhale, bring again your knees up, your feet to the mat. Your arms are still in cactus. Then raise your knees, oh, your feet off the floor, knees towards the chest. Inhale, exhale, twist. Bring both of your knees to the right side. And once they reach almost the floor, let them do whatever your legs want to do. Both of your shoulder blades are nicely placed on the ground. And then you look to your left side. And breathe. Time to finally relax. Let go of all the tension, all the engagement that you did just now. And we start to activate our relaxing mode. Try to feel the spaces in your cavities, in your rib cage. Breathe from the center of your spine. Last inhale. And exhale, bring your legs back up. And we're ready to do our last and most relaxing pose, Shavasana. So I lengthen, straighten my legs, bring my hands and arms alongside my body. If you are feel un uncomfortable in this pose, you might want to check how tilt your neck is, how much your chin comes up. If there is tension in your neck, then you can place a nice blanket or a pillow under your neck. And if the pressure feels in your lower back, then you might need to um, bring your hips to the feet so that your lower back is as flat and as straight as possible. So for me, that looks like I'm really flattening my glutes 
And if this still doesn't feel comfortable, you can always do Shavasana on your chest or on your side. Or why not just sit up? Now, if you have the time and you want to stay in the Shavasana for longer, this is the moment to pause the video. And then you can come later and finish it with me. For the ones that want to continue here, we take our last inhale and exhale. Wiggle your feet, your hands, your toes, your fingers, waking in your body. Maybe you want to come and lay in the fetus position. And then from here, we're going to come and sit. So you press your hand, left hand on the mat. Maybe keep your eyes closed. Find your way onto the sitting position with legs crossed. Again, we peel the glutes so our sitting bones are really pressed down. And here we are. Take another inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. You want to go to the sky and your hips want to go to the ground. It's like we're trying to find the balance here. Inhale again. And exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Namaste. Open your eyes, adjust to this beautiful room. Well, I have a beautiful space to look at. <laughs> but hopefully this video will also make you feel in nature. Connected if you are in a small space in your room, trying to hide away from your pets or from your roommates or housemates. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this class. It was made with a lot of love. This is what I do almost every day for just warming up or to start the day or a moment that I want to be active. Just this routine is easy to remember, explore it, change anything you want. It's all here for you. Thank you for joining. Namaste again. <laughs>